Hello, and welcome to another All Access Life Review. Today, Brad and I are going to be reviewing a variety of Toby Eye Tracking products. The three products I'll be putting to the test today are the iMobile Mini, the iMobile Plus, and the Eye Tracker 4C. We will also showcase Toby Dynavox's eye tracking software, Windows Control 2. I've been using head switches since I was four years old. Although head switches have made a huge impact in my life and have given me the ability to express myself, they still did take a bit of time to get things out. I've been experimenting with eye tracking for about six months now and I'm absolutely blown away. Eye tracking has opened up a whole new world for me and has allowed me to communicate and navigate my computer much, much faster compared to my switches. I can with every day say that Brad is much faster with eye tracking compared to his switches and uh, sometimes almost a little bit too fast because uh, he's able to send me onslaughts of messages that he wasn't able to do before the switch. But uh, honestly, we're super happy that eye tracking is now part of his life and uh, we can't wait to show you some of these products. Before Brad takes over and showcases the eye trackers firsthand, I'm going to quickly go over Windows Control 2, which is the software that he uses to control these devices. On the right hand side, you can see the toolbar that he glances at to select what he wants the mouse to do. His first option here is Move Cursor. This option will allow him to move the cursor anywhere on the screen without actually selecting anything. He then has the drag and drop option, so as an example he can move one of the items on the desktop by simply selecting this option. He then has the scroll option, so let's say if he's on Facebook he could select uh, this button right here and scroll his news feed by simply looking up or down. He then has a standard left click button. This option is pretty neat, it's uh, shortcuts. So once he selects this, he has a variety of options here like volume up, volume down, things that he would normally uh, access and they're easily at his disposal with this button. He then has his right click option, a double click option, his keyboard to type on, and his settings. So I'm actually gonna have Brad explain a little more in depth on the settings. Windows Control 2 is very user friendly and I'm able to control and change any of the settings myself. On the previous version this was a bit harder to do and normally I would need someone to help me with this. So kudos to Toby Dynavox for thinking about the user. Another thing we wanted to showcase before we begin is how Brad has his eye tracker positioned. As you can see his head is tilted a little bit towards the right. This is because he was finding it difficult to keep his head centered and still due to his spasticity. So for Brad, we put the eye tracker a little bit towards the right and he's actually using a setting that's only tracking his left eye. I will now showcase myself using Windows Control 2 on the Toby Eye Tracker 4C. I've been using this device for around six months now and I absolutely love it. One of the things I like most about it is that it's super affordable. It comes in at around $250 Canadian and is a great entry into the world of eye tracking if you'd like to give it a try as it's marketed for anyone to use. Another thing I really like about it is the fact it mounts onto a desktop monitor allowing me to benefit from huge 24 inch displays. The only downfall to this device is I'm unable to have it with me when I'm out and about, since it's limited to my desktop computer. The coolest thing about the Toby Eye Tracker 4C is it's primarily made for gaming. I've experimented with many games and have had a lot of success with click-based games. We will be doing a detailed gaming video shortly, 
But for now here is a segment of me playing a game called Path of Exile. I'm actually able to play this game online, and one of the coolest moments of my life was when I met Danny online in the game, and we went on adventures together. Here is a picture of our first ever gaming encounter. We will put the link where to buy or get more information on the Toby 4 ci tracker in the description below. <laughs> Now that I've shark is eye tracking in a nutshell, I would like to quickly talk about the iMobile Mini and the iMobile Plus. These are more of the on-the-go type of devices, as they can be used anywhere. Firstly we have the iMobile Mini. This device is great and has three separate parts, the PCI Mini eye tracker, a mounting bracket and a tablet. The difference between this device and the iMobile Plus is that, the iMobile Plus comes as more of an all-in-one unit. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the iMobile Mini and the iMobile Plus. So as you can see, the iMobile Mini comes with a detachable PCI Mini eye tracker. It also comes with a case here for the tablet that's also adjustable depending on the tablet size. On the back here, you can find a mounting bracket. It also has a nice table stand, so if ever you do want to stand it on a table, you have that as well. Here on the iMobile Plus, the eye tracker is actually built into the case, so there's no extra wires and there's no need to worry about breaking the wire or anything happening to it. It also comes with a built-in speaker here on the back, so there's no need to bring an external speaker with you when you're out and about. The battery is located here at the bottom of the case, and the battery powers the iMobile Plus bracket for about nine hours uh, without taking power from the tablet. So this is gonna prolong the battery life of the tablet between charges. It'll also only take battery power from the surface if the bracket is out of battery. On the side here, you can find two switch ports. So this allows you to add two external switches to the iMobile Plus unit to use the eye tracker simultaneously with the two switches. The only issue I have with these mobile devices is that the Windows tablets they come with are a bit small when you are used to a 24 inch monitor since the biggest tablet that Microsoft currently has is the Surface Pro 4 coming in at 12.3 inches. Hopefully Microsoft comes out with a larger tablet in the near future. I'd still recommend both these devices and I love how they allow me to communicate on the go. All right, well, thank you guys for watching. We hope you found this review very helpful. Uh, if you did want to follow us on our journey to make this world more accessible, you can follow us on Instagram at All Access Life. You can also check out our website, allaccesslife.org. We'll put the link in the description below. And Brad, tell them, don't forget to. And thanks a lot, guys.